Greetings world. During November 2012 Israel's aggression towards the people living in the Gaza Strip resulted in the deaths of more than 100 people. This included 30 children and wounding more than 1,000 others. At the time of the aggression, Operation Israel was launched. Within few hours of the operation launch there were thousands of defaces and hacks, databases released or deleted, dozens of disruptions to government sites and more. Peace had been achieved for the residents of Gaza and Israel. However, this peace was short-lived. As many mainstream media outlets have made known, Israel has broken the November 21st ceasefire truce by launching airstrikes in northern Gaza. What these mainstream media outlets do not allow you to know is that Israel has violated the ceasefire agreement more than 100 times. Killing four Palestinians in Gaza, and injuring dozens of others between November 21st and today. Furthermore, Palestinians from Gaza to the West Bank continue to be attacked, raided, segregated, imprisoned and grossly mistreated in prison while illegal Israeli settlements and Israeli land theft continues unchecked. Even after a UN panel declared these settlements illegal in January, Gaza suffers a seemingly endless and inhumane blockade where the only import is Israeli sewage pumped directly into it and US-made tear gas, bombs, and bullets that are used by the IDF to attack a largely defenseless population. To the government of Israel, you have not stopped your endless human right violations, you have not stopped illegal settlements, you have not respected the ceasefire, you have shown that you do not respect international law. This is why that on April 7th, elite cyber squadrons from around the world have decided to unite in solidarity with the Palestinian people against Israel as one entity to disrupt and erase Israel from cyberspace. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the government of Israel, it is too late to expect us.